a fan requested food review at Jack in the Box at VidCon? Let's peep this out. YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Outside of VidCon and exactly at Jack in the Box down the street from it with my two partners in crime. I've got Liam from Liam's Lunchbox right now. Liam, you all know from the collab we did on McDonald's not too long ago. If you haven't seen that review that I did with Liam, definitely hit the McDonald's playlist. That'll be popping up right over here in the corner there. You can check that out. But guys, look who I've got in the middle right now. Food Central TV in effect right now. We've got Connor in the house right from Louisiana. This is your first time here right first now, right? First time in California. First VidCon. Wow. Super excited. Beautiful situation. We were having a blast here at VidCon. So many great experiences, a lot of stuff going on there. We're definitely having a good time, but we're actually here for one particular reason and one particular reason only. I've actually got a subscriber that wants me to check out something over here at Jack in the Box that I have never actually tried myself personally, and it's very simple. Jalapeno poppers. Stuffed mm. jalapenos to be exact. Stuffed jalapenos. Are we going to be stuffed after we have these jalapeno poppers? It's supposed to be pretty big from what I'm gathering yes. here, right? We've got seven piece, so. We're going to try and do what we can for you guys right now stuff full of cheddar cheese we're going to show you these up close and personal we're going to peep it out as we always do and we're going to dip it in some ranch action are you a fan of ranch i am of course if you guys know me from my channel you know i love some ranch <laughs> ranch is my favorite thing what is like your favorite all-time dipping sauce for stuff like this? i have to say uh well i actually never had jalapeno poppers or anything but yeah. um i don't like ranch that much but i like barbecue sauce but i don't think it'd be good okay. so this review can go one of two ways oh, yeah. here we're either going to really like this and like it without the ranch or hopefully he will like it with the ranch because it's going to be so ridiculous hey bomb sexy for our face right now yeah definitely. we're gonna find out right now guys let's do what we always do first before we take that first bite let's beep this out so we have the jalapeno poppers right here i'm super excited i don't know about you guys i'm excited i'm hungry right now i'm looking forward to oh, it for yeah. sure let's just peep this jalapeno. out all right so look wow. at those look at these grab that big big one right wow there. this one is connected over here this one is connected you can actually see the pepper on this one this is not too bad actually it does have some weight to it though but let's give this a shot and mm -hmm. see jalapeno poppers over here jack in the box the first time for connor first time ever let's yeah. give this a shot let's pop it let's peep this out <laughs> uh. mm. and wow i actually if you can believe this pulled the jalapeno from around the cheese <laughs> I didn't really get any cheese in that. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that's coming through. I know there's a little bit of a shadow here right now. Well, that's got some heat. Yeah, it does have wow. some heat. Wow. Um, it's crispy though. I took a bite and the whole jalapeno just, just disintegrated. Came out. Yeah. Just came out. Same thing with me. Mm -hmm. It just came out. <laughs> Look at <laughs> my mouth right now. I'm going to have a second tongue. I don't know if I like these. Gonna, see, Arby's, I reviewed those with the Bronco Berry, but. Those have cream cheese, not cheese, and mm. this is like a cross between nacho cheese and cream cheese, it seems. It is a little bit of a, a strange consistency. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a harder cheese, it's warm, but the jalapeno, that's actually the highlight because it's got some nice heat. The pop is actually there, it resonates pretty nicely in the mouth, and it's still kicking right now. Still kicking. It's How like about you? It's like a pickled jalapeno, yeah. just stuffed with cheese. Yeah, mm -hmm. it really is, it really is. I like the outside, it's crunchy. Perfect. Yeah, it is actually cooked very well. There's a nice and little the, grease to it. There is actually, it does have it, but it's not like a wet type of greasy yeah. type of thing. It's dry, but when you bite into it, it does have the consistency that it is, it's moist because of the cheese obviously in there. But it's just crazy how after that bite, mm -hmm. the jalapeno, just the whole thing shot out into my mouth right there and the cheese yeah. was still in the shell. Mm -hmm. The cheese, I'm looking in it and the cheese looks like the greasy part. The batter isn't actually the greasy part of it. Mm. So it's the cheese that they're using right there. Yeah, it's like a white cheese and it's like not like gooey cheese. Yeah. It's more like a mozzarella, a mozzarella stick mozzarella. cheese. Mozzarella, yeah, it mozzarella. Seem, it doesn't seem like cheddar all that much. No, it it's not. It seems like a white, and white cheese. Uh, mm. As I said with the Arby's, it's a sliver. It's not chopped like how Carl's Jr. Right. is. It's not like chopped up one. Well, that's interesting because the advertising for this is actually not even like, it's like a very orange rich type of cheese that they're showing with that. The key is gonna be the ranch though. Yeah. yeah. Let's give this a try with their buttermilk house sauce, AKA ranch. Why wouldn't they just call it ranch? I don't know about yeah, that. I, was... I don't know, I understand that. All right, you guys have all seen ranch in the past. I've done a lot of reviews showing ranch there and this is actually pretty thick looking. Let's give this a shot. See the thickness there, as you can see. It is as thick as you'd want it to be. Let's give us a shot. Jalapeno poppers with ranch Let's try sauce, it. aka ranch. Same thing. The whole There's jalapeno, a jalapeno it came, out. It came out. That is ridiculous. I do not like that yeah, at all. But it's weird because the Arby's ones don't do that. You know what I think it is? I think the jalapeno is sitting on top of this cheese concoction. And the cheese is greasy, so right. it slips out. It slides right out mm -hmm. there. And the ranch, I do have to say, it does have a nice little tang to it. Mm -hmm. It kind of helps cool down as you would expect the heat that you're going to get from the jalapeno itself. Mm -hmm. 
But I do wish it was cold ranch though. Yeah, well, it, you know, they took it out of the refrigerator too, really? but this is actually still kind of kind of lukewarm right now. I don't know. Ranch is ranch. ranch? Unless it's <laughs> unless it's a house ranch sauce or yeah, house yeah. buttermilk sauce, whatever ranch they call it. Ranch tastes different everywhere, really, because this the fast food ranch tastes more like warm, creamy, and yeah. I guess liquidy. I like me some good ranch. Yeah, no, I do too. I don't know. On that bomb, sexy for your face scale of one to ten. Me personally, I think I'm gonna go with like a five on these. Mm -hmm. It's average at best. Would I get these again? Probably not. Yeah. Even with the ranch sauce, I I'm just not feeling it there. I really don't like the fact that the jalapeno slides out. I'm not getting that blast of cheese that I thought it was gonna pop. Yeah. Um, just not feeling it there. Very, very lukewarm for me there. What yeah. do you think? What do you think, Connor? I'm gonna go to the same thing on bomb sexy scale. Mm -hmm. Give it about a six. Six? Yeah, right. I'd say a six. A point up, a point, point up. up. Well, I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna give it a 6.5. Hmm. I could not see myself getting these again. I like Arby's much, much better. The cream cheese gooey, more warm, crispier. They don't no. slide out. The cheese isn't greasy. But these ones, I mean, I even got requests for this one too. And it's just one of my least favorite jalapeno poppers actually. But I enjoy jalapeno poppers, so. Yeah. They're good enough to eat, but not enough to get again. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same. So there you have it, guys. The jalapeno poppers over here at Jack in the Box. Average at best, Average. not something I think that I would get again, but I'm glad we did this for the first time out for Connor over here at VidCon, oh, yeah. over here in Anaheim, California. We're having a blast. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another edition of Peep This Out, a special one for you today, gang. Over here at VidCon, Jack in the Box specifically, here with my partners in crime. We've got Liam from Liam's Lunchbox, doing it up as only he can. And of course, Connor from Food Central TV, so great to have him in the state yep. here in Anaheim, California. Yep. If you guys don't know these guys, I'm telling you right now, shame on you. I'm going to put links to their channels in the description box down below. Make sure you hit them up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff there. Tell them Ian K sent you. You will not be disappointed. They are at the top of their game doing what they do for their channels. They're a lot of fun to watch. And as always for me, if you haven't done so already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com and keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see on screen. Because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to See you next time. Stay, Stay frosty. frosty. All right, Connor, I know this is your first VidCon. Yep. First collab that we've done, actually. I know this wasn't exactly the hottest product out there right now. Yeah, not the best. Maybe if they added some noodles inside, do you think that would make a difference? Oh, yeah, noodles would make it like at least a seven. I don't know of any company <laughs> right now who's trying to mix noodles and cheese together inside of like a crispy shell like that. Uh -huh. Burger, that sounds like some Burger King would do. Yeah, something crazy. Does it sound like BK? Yeah, you think so? Crazy. Sounds like BK. BK. I think I see an easy way to kind of fix this and upgrade it a little bit there. Charbroiled noodles. Charbroiled noodles. What would we call this? You know? It could be a ramen. Be yeah. Ramen poppers. Ramen poppers? Mm -hmm. You know, nothing against Jack in the Box with their mascot, but I think maybe like like a cheetah character would be pretty cool to I have bet. with something like this, you know? Rebrand everything. I don't know. Changing. Still haven't had a, a very successful, great thing from Jack in the Box yet. <laughs> yeah, well, you yeah, know, it is what it is, but the burgers are pretty fantastic. But you know what? When it comes to the jalapeno poppers, however, add yeah. that cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs>